Week 8 of the NFL season is officially here. I can't believe we're already at week 8. It feels like the season started yesterday. We're like halfway through. I know there's like 17 weeks. We're halfway through. Let's be real. We're halfway through the NFL season. It's going by way too fast, man. But it is what it is. Got to enjoy every game while we can. Last week, week 7 of the NFL was fire for us last week with our predictions. And yes, I know, I posted the video a few hours late last week. Um, I forgot, I had it unlisted. I forgot to make it public. And then in the middle of the Saints and Broncos game, I remembered and I made it public. That won't happen this week, I hope. But last week, our predictions were cooking. We went 13-2 and two last week. I think that's our second best of the season. We went like 13-1 and one the week before. So we're on a hot streak now. We started off good, went mid, went bad, and now, now we're at the best we've ever been. And after going 13 and two last week, that makes our overall record on the year with these weekly predictions, 70 and 37. I like that. I like that record a lot. Now recapping last week's picks, Saints and Broncos, that was an easy one for me to pick. The Saints didn't even have a starter on offense and the Broncos just did their thing. Sean Payton got his revenge. The Broncos won. That was an easy pick. The Jags and Patriots was a game that I was iffy about because both these teams suck balls. But I picked the Jaguars because they have the better team. I think at some point Drake May was also questionable. Got an MRI on his knee. Drake May looks good. But the Jaguars pulled off the win. Drake May still looks good. And we got that one correct. Seahawks versus the Falcons. This is the first one I got wrong. I thought the Falcons were going to come out and win. They were on a hot streak. They were at home. Seahawks were on a losing streak. I thought it was going to be a pretty good win for the Falcons. Seahawks said no. DK Metcalf owned AJ Terrell. Kirk Cousins got rocked. And the Seahawks won, what, like 34 to 14? That was a pretty good win for the Seahawks. Good for them. And I'm happy the Falcons lost. Bills beat the Titans. I think we all saw that one coming. Unfortunately, no Will Levis moment this week. That was the only downside to this game. Bengals and Browns. That was an easy pick too. The Browns are a bottom three, five team in the NFL. Deshaun Watson though is now hurt. James Winston is the starting quarterback moving forward. Also, Joe Burrow now improves his record against the Browns from like one and five to like two and five. That's another reason why I was skeptical about that pick, but they pulled off the win. Texans and Packers, this game was super close. One of the best ones of the week, possibly of the season. The Packers pulled off a last second win with Brandon McManus with a game winning field goal, who they signed literally just that week. So shout out to Brandon McManus. Shout out to Stefan Diggs for putting up five catches for 23 yards after starting a fight pregame. Colts and Dolphins was an easy pick. The Dolphins don't have a starting or a backup quarterback and then their backup backup quarterback. Are, so they were onto their backup 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 quarterback there. They were onto like their fourth string quarterback, Tim Boyle. So um, yeah, that was an easy pick right there. Lions and Vikings. This was a super conflicting pick. I picked the Lions because I think they were the better team. Although I said it was like 51% Lions, 49% Vikings. The Vikings had a bye week to prepare. I picked the Lions because they had the better team and it paid off. They had the last second field goal kick from Jake Bates. David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs cooked. And now the Lions, I believe in the last five games, have more touchdowns than Jared Goff has in completions. That's an insane stat. So I got that one right. Luckily, that was more of just, you know, go with my gut feeling as opposed to, okay, this is why they should win. Eagles and Giants, that was an easy pick. Saquon Barkley got his revenge, took Petty on the Giants. The Giants are still sticking with Daniel Jones at quarterback for whatever reason. And that was an easy pick right there. Rams versus Raiders, that was an easy pick. That game was closer than it should have been. But the Rams are also missing like their starting three receivers, I think, and missing a whole bunch of linemen and stuff. So they're banged up. And that game should have been better for the Rams, but they pulled off the W. Commanders smoked the Panthers. That was an easy pick. 49ers versus the Chiefs was not an entertaining game. Both those quarterbacks sucked in this game. Mahomes looks like a fraud. Brock Purdy looked like Derek Carr. Either way, wasn't entertaining. I picked the Chiefs because they're undefeated and they have the better team. And the 49ers are banged up. Now the 49ers are more banged up than they were a week ago. Steelers and Jets, this one was just kind of whatever's too. I picked the Steelers because they were at home and have a good defense while Aaron Rodgers and the Jets don't have a good offensive line. 
that one worked out well. Ravens smoked the Buccaneers, and the Buccaneers not only lost this game, but lost Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. At least for the year, Mike Evans might be back around week 13 or something. Two huge losses. And our second bad prediction was the Chargers over the Cardinals. Man, what a terrible game. I did not know the Chargers were that bad. Yeah, that was a boring game. Kyler Murray's run was the highlight of the night. But that is the recap of our week seven picks. Kind of going over briefly what went wrong and what went right. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get into these week eight picks and predictions. And speaking of picks and predictions, check out this ad from Underdog Fantasy. Underdog Fantasy is the best place to play fantasy sports. Download the Fantasy Underdog app, find some players you're interested in, maybe on your favorite team or your favorite players. Doesn't have to be on your team either. It could be on other teams as well. Find their stats and you can pick higher or lower. And you can pick up to five players slash picks. Make some picks on Underdog Fantasy and use my code CASH for more bonus offers. And if you want to help support me and the channel in any other ways, you can just click my link tree down in the description. There's lots of options for you there as well. All right, thanks for tuning in. Let's get back to the video. All right, we got Thursday night football between the Vikings and the Rams. The Rams, I believe, are getting Cooper Cup back and Puka Nakua is questionable to play in this game. I'm still going to take the Vikings here, though. I think the Vikings are the better team. I think their defense is really, really good. And even though the Rams are getting Cooper Cup a very important piece to their team back and Puka Nakua, and I still think Stafford's a really good quarterback in this league, I'm just going to pick the Vikings here. They're the better team. It'd be kind of stupid not to pick the Vikings here. So I got the Vikings over the Rams. Next up, Ravens and Browns. I got the Ravens here. The Browns are a bad team, but they might have got better with Deshaun Watson getting hurt. I don't... Deshaun Watson didn't look good, and now they'll have Jameis Winston starting at quarterback. Dorian Thompson Robinson, their second string or third string quarterback. Their other quarterback also got hurt with a thumb injury or something like that. He's okay, I guess. So Jameis Winston starting, though. I have the Ravens winning. They're on a hot streak. The Ravens I think I'm going to be able to pull this one off with ease. Lions versus the Titans. Lions are at home, one of the best teams in the NFL, and the Titans seem to be a team that's kind of tanking their season to get a higher draft pick and start rebuilding again. I don't know if Will Levis is going to be playing in this game. I hope he does. We need some Will Levis meme content. But I got the Lions. There's no way you can't pick the Lions here. The Lions are the best team in the NFL. And the Titans are probably a bottom three team in the league. So I got the Lions. Texans versus the Colts. We're picking the Texans here because the Indianapolis Colts, I don't think, are as good as a team as the Texans. That I kid, <laughs> Stupid explanation, but sometimes you get a gut feeling, oh, I think they could pull it off. I don't think the Colts are that good of a team. I had them as a sneaky good team this year. I, I don't think so. Anthony Richardson's having ups and downs. They're honestly a better team with the Joe Flacco. Also, the Texans are just a better team with a better quarterback and I think maybe a little bit better coaching. They're also at home. So those that's my reasoning for picking the Texans. I don't know much about the Colts, but I'm pretty sure they're not as good as a team as the Texans. But it is a division game, so I wouldn't count out any surprises like if the Colts could pull off a W. Packers and Jaguars. I got the Packers here. We already said it in this video. The Jaguars were one of the worst teams in the NFL. They got lucky playing the Patriots. And the Packers are one of the better teams in the league. Or maybe they're like the top of the middle tier teams. Jordan Love is a good quarterback. So I'm just going to pick the Packers here. I think they're better coached, obviously. They got better players in a better team. Go Packers over the Jaguars. Dolphins and Cardinals, another really weird game. I'm picking the Dolphins here, though. They're getting Tua Tagovailoa back this week, I believe. And Tua being back means things are, should open up for the Dolphins. Tyreek Hill should be getting the ball. Jalen Waddle should be getting the ball. The running game should open up now that they don't have to rely on it every single play. The Cardinals are not that good of a team. I got the Dolphins winning. They're at home. I think Tua's had time. I think the Dolphins are waiting to get a win and ready to be explosive again. So I'm picking the Dolphins over the Arizona Cardinals. Jets versus Patriots. I got the Jets here. This is a rare Jets pick. I honestly almost picked the Patriots just because Drake May might be that good. 
Thought I went with the Jets because the Patriots lost at the Jags. That's it. The Patriots lost at the Jags. What makes me think I, they can beat the, the Jets who have a better team than the Jags? And I don't know if they're better coached, but I don't think it's worse than Doug Peterson. So we got the Jets here. Buccaneers versus the Falcons, another division game. I have the Buccaneers losing this game, even though they're at home. They lost to Mike Evans and Chris Godwin last week. They're down and very thin at wide receiver. I don't know if their running game is going to be able to really offset the losses to those two players. And I don't know how Baker Mayfield is going to look without his two star wide receivers. And the Falcons, I think, are a better team and they're healthier. They got Kirk Cousins and their receivers are healthy. Their defense is somewhat decent. They can run the ball. We saw Derrick Henry wear down the Buccaneers defense. I'm picking the Falcons here. But I do hope neither of these teams win. Eagles and Bengals. This is an interesting matchup. I almost put these two quarterbacks as the thumbnail, but decided not to. We got Joe Burrow and the Bengals on a hot streak versus the Eagles who are coming off a dominant win versus the Giants. I'm going to pick the Bengals here though. They're on a hot streak. They're trying to stay in the playoff contention race. I think Joe Burrow and the Bengals are also just better than Jalen Hurts and the Eagles team in general. But I wouldn't be surprised if the Eagles are able to run all over the Bengals defense. I'm not a big fan of the Bengals defense in general. I am expecting Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow to have some pretty nice connections over Darius Slay and that Eagles secondary target Chauncey Garner Johnson. This is just the game I think the Bengals matchup wise are probably the favorite. Saints and Chargers. I got the Chargers winning this one. Not because, you know, the Saints are injured, which they are. They are getting some guys healthy, though. They have Cesar Ruiz, I believe, coming back. I think Taysom Hill, Chris Olave, Lucas Patrick, Pete Warner. I think those guys should all possibly be back and playing this week. They signed Marquez Valdez Scanling, who should be playing this week. That's another weapon for Spencer Rattler. Derek Carr isn't playing. I'm not picking the Saints, though, to lose because of these injuries. I'm picking them to lose because of Dennis Allen's defense. The Chargers love to run the football. And the Saints have probably one of the worst run defenses in the NFL. And they're bottom in the NFL when it comes to yards allowed per game. The Chargers are a team where if they can get four yards a carry every single time, they will do that the entire game. And I think this is a matchup where the Saints defensive line will not match up well versus the Chargers offensive line. That's why I'm picking the Chargers here. And that's not even talking about Justin Herbert and how the Saints can defend him. Despite them having like no receivers, Justin Herbert is a top talented quarterback in the NFL. So I'm picking the Chargers, nothing against the Saints, but it's just Dennis Allen's defense isn't good. Seahawks versus the Bills. I got the Bills here. They're the better team, got the better quarterback. Seahawks though are at home. You have to consider that, which is why I think it's a fact that the Seahawks could pull off a win versus the Buffalo Bills. I think the Bills are just the better overall team in terms of talent and depth. So I'm picking Buffalo here, although I would not be shocked if Seattle pulls it off. We got the Bears versus the Commanders. Jaden Daniels is questionable to play. He has some rib injuries. If Jaden Daniels does not play, I got the Bears. And if he does play, it's a lot closer. But I think I still pick the Bears here. I think I like I think I like the Bears overall team more than the Commanders. The Commanders just kind of feels like Jaden Daniels is doing a whole bunch of cool shit while the defense makes some plays. Whereas the Bears, it seems like they have a good running game with DeAndre Swift in the line. Caleb Williams has better weapons. The Bears defense, I think, is better than the Commanders defense. I think the Bears are overall better, even though Washington might have the better quarterback. But I'm picking the Bears. I hope Jaden plays. I want to see Jaden versus Caleb. Broncos versus Panthers. This is an easy one. I got the Broncos. Andy Dalton is not playing. Bryce Young is starting. Broncos are going to win that one. Chiefs and Raiders. Easy one again. Chiefs are going to beat the Raiders. Raiders don't even have an NFL starting caliber worthy quarterback. So Chiefs are going to win that one. Easy pick. Cowboys and Niners. I just picked the Cowboys here because the Niners are missing McCaffrey. They're missing Ayuk. They're missing, uh, they might be missing Debo Samuel. They might be missing Juwan Jennings. They might be missing George Kittle. And maybe some other guys as well. The 49ers are banged up. I think the 49ers are better coach. I think overall, from a team perspective, they are the better team. But man, the Niners are just so beat up right now. I don't know. It's going to be hard to pick them. I just picked the Cowboys. The Niners are at home, though. I wouldn't be shocked if they won. But man, it's going to be hard for Brock Purdy to pull off a win without McCaffrey. Ayuk, possibly Debo, possibly Kittle. Their rookie receiver, Ricky Perschel, is active. But we saw 
how hard it was for the 49ers to do stuff versus the Chiefs. I just can't pick them. And now they're even more banged up than they were last week. So I'm just going to pick the Cowboys for this one. And finally, Monday Night Football, I got the Steelers over the Giants. I don't want to explain that. That's just a depressing game right there. Those are our week eight picks. Let me know down in the comments what you make of them. Would you change anything? And if you disagree with any of them, subscribe to my channel Cash Sports for more daily info content and up-to-date news and predictions and all that cool stuff. Have a good one. Peace.